Hi, welcome to Raj GPRC and Raj Pharma eLearning. Uh, today we are going to learn about good documentation practice, uh, which is a very important topic when you are working in pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, medical devices, or any other industry. Because documentation plays an important role uh, in uh, industry and in our day-to-day -day life. Even if you uh, want to, uh, you know, make your passport, that is an important document. Even if you want to file a return, that is an important document. So when you take care of your personal things, uh, think about the activities which is performed day in day night while working in the industry. So good documentation uh, practice means what? Do what you say, say what you do. Do what you say, say what you do. But prove what you did and what you said, right? So unless and until you record it, whatever you must be doing uh, in your day-to-day -day life in, while working in industry, you have to record it. So uh, like GMP, GDP is equally important. GMP means good, docu good manufacturing practices. GDP is a good documentation practice. But GDP uh, is commonly uh, used as an abbreviation for good distribution practices as well and the good documentation practices. So uh, we are proud to train, you know, 30,000 uh, employees or the professional in pharma industry uh, during last 13 years. We have completed 13 successful years and we are really proud uh, when there was a, uh, this, the Skill India concept was not there that during those years, like in 2009, 2010, we have started the skilling programs. And we have skilled so many professionals in various areas like regulatory affairs, quality assurance, quality chemist, R&D, production, pharmacovigilance, pharma documentation, pharma management, then CTD, CTD hands-on training, and so on. So we offer various uh, courses and uh, technical skills to improve uh, your, uh, you know, the skills in all respect whenever you are working in industry. So coming to today's topic, uh, I'm going to share my screen now. So we will talk about the good documentation practices. And uh, if you see all the content is available freely on that. You know, if you Google, you will find n number of articles, documents, guidances from where you can find such kind of information. So we have also gathered all the uh, information and the references are acknowledged. So uh, while uh, walking through this uh, slides for the good documentation practice, uh, in this particular section, I, I will be talking about a brief, I will be giving a brief idea about the good documentation practice. But when you uh, attend our main course, you know, main course in either regulatory affairs, quality assurance, or good documentation practice, you will get in detail information. So this, this is just a gist of good documentation practice in which we have covered all the topics in details, right from the aim and purpose, golden rules, characteristic of document, why good documentation is required, who must follow good documentation practices, types of documentation, USP general chapter 1029, what does it say in GDP, EU GMP chapter four, that is GMP requirement for documentation, data integrity, which is again a hot topic, record, data writing, how the mistakes are corrected, how the human errors are avoided. So all these will be uh, considered while teaching you uh, in depth, Okay, and uh, when you join our course, you know, uh, the certificate course for three months, four months, in that several other topics are considered, which will be used in your day-to-day -day life. So let us have a look of, you know, the good documentation properties. So commonly uh, GDP is abbreviated as, you know, GDOCP or GDP. But we recommend to abbreviate as GDOP because it has to distinguish from the good distribution practices so that we, uh, you know, avoid uh, the duplication of abbreviation used in the industry. So 
So GDP uh, or the GDOC P is a term in the pharmaceutical industry that describes the standards by which documents are created and maintained. Okay, because many people, you know, they just create the document and forget about it. But how it is maintained, how it is archived, how it has to be retrieved, that is equally important. You might have heard about the track and trace system, which is equally important. Then when we call the product recall, okay, during that time also, it becomes very important to track each and every uh, component of you know, the, the product when you manufacture, when the batch is released, the, pack, the batch is packed and sold out in the market. So how it becomes uh, easy to recall all those batches from the market, it depends on how you know, how excellently you have maintained the track and trace system and how you build the documentation around the system. So once you build your uh, good documentation uh, system in your company, sky is a limit for you. So the practice, 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 practice become your habit, habit become your attitude. And that is why the all the practices are important, not only GDP. GCP, GLP, you know, GMP, everything is important. And together uh, with all these GMP, GLP, GDP, GCP, it is called a GXP. So documentation control, you know, this is uh, not an optional, okay? It is a legal requirement. So one has to understand, we have to follow laws, rules, and regulations. Right? So documentation control is a legal, legal requirement and it is mandatory. So records and reports along with procedures tell the story of manufactured products and devices. So whenever you manufacture your product, simple, the paracetamol tablets or uh, the, in the medical devices, insulin pain. So whatever you are going to manufacture, the manufacturing process, you know, has to be described in such a way that the reviewer or the reader will understand the process. Okay, and when you are going to manufacture that product, so batch record, batch packing records, that becomes your records or the report, correct? That has to be also understood by the auditor or the reader or the third party. So uh, the documentation control or the documentation writing, the author, the reviewer, the approver, you know, plays an important role in this entire process of document control. So good documentation practices ensure the integrity and reliability of data. Okay. And the good data and record management practices that in GDRP during inspection of GMP, GCP, GLP has been increasing. You might have seen from 2014-15 onwards, lots of data integrity issues, the human error, the, uh, the compliance issues, you know, are happening and many companies have closed. Many big companies have closed due to this data integrity issues. And that's why the good data and the record management practices uh, become very important. And each and every company is investing you know in the training and maintaining records properly and uh, they are making uh, you know lots of like they are going forward with the e, uh, electronic data management system and the digital system you might have heard about the lms uh, the learning management system then the leams edms empower all these things uh, uh, you know, uh, captured electronically. So that becomes easy for uh, any reviewer or the regulator to review your data at a single click button. In regulatory affairs also, you might have heard about all the submissions are happening through ECTD. ECTD is an electronic common technical document and the ESG, so electronic secured gateway. So all the dossiers are compiled in ECTD format, hyperlink, bookmark, the entire submission is validated and uploaded through ESG gateway. So that becomes easier for the reviewer sitting at either US FDA, Europe, Canada, whichever health authority you may select. It becomes easier for them to review at a single click button. And each document is hyperlinked, right? So bookmark. 
So these all things becomes very important when we talk about the electronic dumping. So the paper records to electronic for the pharmaceutical companies, then the electronic signatures and the electronic records. This, this, these are the important parameters which you have to consider. So you can see uh, this uh, uh, round circle, you know, the right from the policies, standards, training, classification, tension, documentation, you know, everything it is called as data management. So how you manage your data in your day-to-day -day life, right from creation, access, usage, storage, you know, sharing, integrity, destruction, you have to maintain it properly, okay? Even if you distribute any kind of, you know, the control copy or the uncontrolled copy, it has to be recorded in your distribution record. So data management, again, and uh, interesting, you know, it has to be with a robust document management system. Robust document management system. Like we uh, follow the robust quality management system, right? So GDP aim to ensure globally accepted standards are met in record keeping and reporting. And GDP describes standards and best practices on how to record data, information, observations, and events, create, maintain, and archive documents, right? So it is considered to be part of current manufacturing practices, that is GMP. So what is the uh, aim? and purpose of good documentation practices. The GDP standard relate to the data accuracy, data integrity, validation, reporting, record keeping timelines, legibility, and rest. Okay. What is the golden rule? Golden rule is what? If it is not written down, it did not happen. Like I said earlier, do what you say, say what you do. Do what you say, say what you do, but prove what you do and what you say. That is a golden rule. So data integrity, good practices, good science, good business gives the good business. All right. So everything, you know, rolls around what? Good documentation practices and how you manage your data wisely, smartly. So why there is a need of good documentation practices? See, everything will be taught to you in the detailed course curriculum. Okay, this is, I'm just giving a gist of GDP. Okay, the detailed explanation will be followed in the actual course when you will be studying with Raj Parma Yilar. So what is being made? Most of us when attempting a task need some sort of documentation. Am I right? Even a picture, if you are drawing for a board or the sitting arrangement, right? If you make a wrong drawing, what will happen? Right? Think about it. Think. How exactly you make the drawing so that similar product will be manufactured. So in our manufacturing process also, you have to draw a flow chart step by step, step one, you know, saving of excipients, say for example, weighing, savings, or the shifting, then granulation, granulation, so wet granulation, then compression, then packaging. Say for example, if you are going to manufacture a tablet, so these are the steps. So you have to show nicely through the flow chart. So flow chart becomes a very important and it is easy to understand by a supervisor, by the workers working in the production area. Right, and that is how how you represent, how you make your work instruction appropriately with all the steps and the representation, the diagrammatic representation. It becomes very easy to understand for others. So again, why good documentation practice? The basic condition of a quality system is to ensure the following throughout the lifetime of the product. Proper documentation should be correct. Should be complete, it should be current, consistent, right? So adequacy of integrity, traceability, control, and retention. What I mean to say here, 
the basic foundation of your quality system has to ensure that whatever document you are making should be proper documentation right it should be correct complete current and consistent current means what it should state the issue date review date right the revision the, always refer to the current revision okay so this is uh, just an example uh, i have given here you can see the right hand side the standard operating procedure right the sop so whenever we start uh, any task the sop has to be read and understood correct so each document shall have the clear title identification number the document number okay and it has to be approved by the sub authorized person it has to be signed and dated right so the date of issue date of revision list to whom it has been issued very important so apart from the format like pagination header footer left margin right margin the body text so these things are important correct the document number that is identification number date of issue revision date so important okay. then who must follow right who must follow good documentation practice everyone right all personal dealing with regulated materials all activities related to the manufacturing of regulated materials right when they are holding they are storing during transportation during manufacturing during testing during support packing labeling at every stage all personnel involved right to handle that material to handle the production storekeeper transporter everyone is responsible you know who are dealing with this area and the document generated in the respective area so what are the types of documents if you see or uh, the triangle or the pyramid you can see so it starts always with the quality manual which is called level 1 document right which is one document you can see the pyramid so level 1 is quality manual then level 2 the quality policies the company policies the quality objectives okay then it grows so it expands the pyramid if you see it expands so how it expands the quality manual level 1 quality policies quality objectives and that in comes comes to level 3 sops all sops and then level 4 the records the test method specification validation stability everything comes under the record so if you see the pyramid the lots of records and test method specification lots of data is generated you know that is why it fits into the bottom of the pyramid so you have to understand level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 how it goes so hierarchy of this document system once it is understood it is mentioned in the iso standard also and you have one has to maintain the, this type of hierarchy for the different types of documentation so types of documentation you might have seen it starts your gmp starts from your main gate right the building premises equipment the installation validation cleaning and maintenance then the personal training hygiene housekeeping material so we have to have specification for each and every material testing procedure warehousing rejection disposal processing individual step in the process of manufacturing finished goods specification testing storage distribution rejection disposal complaints and recalls how you recall the product how the investigation happens what the actions are taken the kappa corrective action preventive action everything becomes a document right so these are the different types of document which you have to maintain nicely along with of course the quality manual policies sop batch numbering record vmr vpr then the specification so each department so there are several department qc qa r and d formulation uh, the analytical stores production maintenance engineer there are so many department exist in one pharmaceutical industry and several types of documents are generated right right from the when you install your equipment or the machinery you should have that 
DQIQ, OQPQ, right? So the installation qualification and performance qualification become important documents while auditing. Then the you are manufacturing the badges, the badge formula become important. So master badge formula and their instructions. Then the logbooks while operation, you maintain the logbook, what time uh, it has started, you know, who has started, then maintenance, calibration, each equipment is calibrated, the calibration due date record is maintained. Then the stock control distribution record nowadays SAP ERP uh, is there. So inventory management, the supply chain management is controlled uh, through the SAP. But if it is not there manually, you have control. So documents, records become extremely important when you are working in uh, pharma, medical device or any type of industry. Okay. And the uh, time and the manufacturing side, people, processes, this, these four factors are extremely important when we uh, talk about the document and the record maintenance. So uh, that's all uh, overview of the good documentation practice. But if you want to learn more in details for each and every parameters, then data integrity, how to avoid human error, how actually the quality management system have to be established in the robust quality management system established, you will learn when you join our course. Thank you. Uh, if you have any doubt, you, you can contact us uh, or you can write an email at rajgprsc at gmail.com. You can uh, refer to our website www.rajparmaelan.com. Thank you very much for your kind attention.